Hi, I'm Tammy here with It's All About the Dogs, and I'm here with Noelle Blair from Positive Directions Canine Academy, and we are talking today about brushing your dog's teeth. Yes. I was just telling Noelle, honestly, I don't concentrate a lot on brushing my dog's teeth, which is a, not a good thing. But most people don't, do they? No, not a lot of people do. This is something that um, I start talking about with my students um, in puppy class because mm -hmm. I think it's an important thing to do. It is. This is Bliss. Bliss is going to be 11 in December. That's awesome. Hard to believe she's that old. Um, she's awesome. <clears throat> she had to have a tooth pulled one time. Um, and we did a dental at the same time because I'd given her um, something to chew on that was super hard. It was too hard and um, it actually fractured one of her teeth. Oh, no. So if you're giving your dog stuff to chew on in the hopes that it's gonna clean their teeth, you wanna make sure that what you're giving them is not as hard as or harder than the surface of the tooth is you could end up damaging those teeth and um, it's gonna cost you more in the long run. So things to stay away from are weight-bearing bones, um, so like the big um, femurs, um, especially if they've been bleached because the bleach stays in the bone and then oh. they're eating bleach. Or um, I'm not a real big fan of antlers. Um, really, because that's, that's dog, all the rage right now. Is the it antlers, is, and right? that's what my dog did, a slab fracture. I had gotten them as a gift from somebody and I gave oh. one to one dog and one to another dog and both of them. Um, her daughter actually ended up with a slab fracture, same tooth, had to have both of them done in the same week and boy was that yeah. expensive ouch yeah, that's crazy yeah well you know we brush our own teeth every day we do multiple times a day usually i would hope so <laughs> <laughs> i but brush i know i brush my teeth two or three times a day do you yeah. weekly that's yeah. awesome you know i feel good if i can get my teeth brushed in the morning and before i go to bed um <laughs> sometimes at lunch i brush my teeth not every day but you know uh-huh so yeah. so why would you think it would be any different with your dog exactly you know um the rule of thumb is you should be doing something for dental health daily mm -hmm. so whether that's giving them something to chew on or brushing their teeth you need to be doing something every single day <laughs> <laughs> this is getting bored. To, to keep your dog's teeth clean so as you can see um i've got some toothbrushes here and i've got some toothpaste i'm going to show you and then this is just a sample of some of the treats that I give to my dogs. These, um, the brand is Burbeck and it's the CET Enzymatic Chews. The um, enzymes that are on these chews, hi, um, have a chemical in them that will help soften the tartar. Tartar looks like peanut butter, but feels like concrete. And the only way that you're gonna be able to get that off is with power tools. So I don't recommend, <laughs> you know, she's like, I would, I also I would, enjoy I having these. Um, ideally, what I would do is I would brush her teeth and then I'd give her this to chew on. Um, that enzyme on there keeps the tartar soft, making it possible for natural chewing and um, the occasional toothbrush to get off most of that stuff. Well, and doctor, my vet had told me that if, you know, if, if you're lax, like I am in the habit of brushing your dog's teeth, mm -hmm. like you should be, right. then I should be giving them these types of things just because it's going to help. Now um, you can see she's pretty excited about this. Um, this is a rawhide flip. It's about 75% protein um, and then the enzymes on the outside of it. As with anything, if you're going to give your dog something new, and I'm sure some of you had a heart attack when you heard me say the R word. <laughs> Um, right. <laughs> rawhide is not necessarily a bad thing for your dog to chew on. Anything can be dangerous if your dog tries to swallow it whole, and it doesn't matter whether it's a rock or a hoof or a rawhide. So, um, well, and it depends on where these come from. Yeah. Um, so be sure you're reading your labels. Uh, these come from Texas, I think, I think it says on here. I don't. Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, I was so. going to say, I know that they're made in America. They're not, um, they're not, they're not made Chinese. They're not Chinese. So. So, which is a big thing that, is. that's caused a lot of problems because they put, but one of the things they put glue on those, which is nasty and there's all kinds of other stuff. So, you know. You know, in order to create rawhide, they put it through formaldehyde, they bleach it, they scrub it, then they glue it to make it into the shapes that they do. So I don't know if that's necessarily a Chinese thing, but I do know that it is definitely a thing. So, um, just well, and there's also you can buy pig's ears or cow's ears. Um, I don't like the pig's ears because they're too greasy. Yeah, they get grease all over whatever they're chewing on. Mm -hmm. But but the cow's ears or the goat's ears you can get at you know a place like Murdoch's or mm -hmm. or something or online. And we're going to actually have some links to these items in our comments below so that you can take a look at them. Yes. Now I like these toothbrushes because there's a big and a little end. 
Um, I would recommend just popping over to the dollar store and getting a dollar toothbrush. And you wanna get the kind that are soft or medium, but not extra hard, because you're gonna end up raking those gums and making them bleed, and that's gonna be painful for your dog, and they're not gonna to wanna to have you brushing their teeth. I know my dogs actually look forward to having their teeth brushed, and we do toes day and teeth day on Tuesday. <laughs> That's great because then so, you have a schedule for it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. We call it Toast Day instead of Tuesday at our house. Good. So yes. That's how we do it, and it also includes teeth brushing. So um, the way so how that, often do you brush your dog's teeth? Is it once a week? It's definitely at least once a week. Um, some days when I'm feeling really good, I will do it. I actually put my toothpaste, and each dog has their very own toothbrush. We don't share toothbrushes. Um, <laughs> because you don't want to pass disease back and forth. Right. Your dog may have something that you're not aware of, and if you're sharing toothbrushes, that can really cause problems. Just like people, you wouldn't share your toothbrush with right. someone Right, you else, may so. kiss your husband with your mouth open, but you don't share his toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> so, same kind of thing. You may... <laughs> so, um, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to um, hit where the teeth and the gums meet, because that's where the tartar starts to collect. If the tartar collects along that gum line, what ends up happening is the gums get red, they get swollen, and just the simple act of eating kibble um, can actually break that open. And when that happens and the gums start to bleed, all that disease and bacteria that's contained in the tartar goes into the, the blood supply and it will travel to all of the major organs and it causes organ failure. Mm -hmm. So it can cause liver failure, kidney failure, it can cause all kinds of problems. So it's really important to keep your dog's mouth as clean as possible. If you enjoy your dog and you wanna have them with you as long as possible, you can actually increase your dog's life by three to five years just wow. by weekly just brushing. Just by brushing their teeth. That is amazing. Isn't that amazing? That is truly amazing. And you get to save about 1,500 to $3,000. <laughs> on vet bills. On vet bills yeah. for not having to have um, them anesthetized and, and done. So this toothpaste here, I am gonna put the lid back on. It is Burbeck. Again, it's the same brand that I just showed you with the um, chews. And this is poultry flavor. And my dogs love the poultry flavor. They think it's the best. And I do have kind of a funny story that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I have a friend. We were at a dog show. And one early, early morning, it was like 4.30 or 5, we had an early ring time. She said, Noelle, does toothpaste go bad? And I said, I don't think so. Why? And she goes, oh, my God. She had... <laughs> She had brushed her dog's teeth the night before, and she had their toothpaste next to her toothpaste. <laughs> she brushed her teeth with the dog's toothpaste that morning. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Oh my God. I thought it was pretty that got oh, funny. Oh yeah, well, I came home one time, the, the, tooth, the toothpaste are flavored, uh -huh. and uh, I had not gotten the drawer completely closed, and I came home to find the tube of toothpaste and the toothbrushes all in the living room chewed up. Uh, yeah, they can eat the whole tube of toothpaste and that's not going to hurt anything. Yeah. So um, the way that I get my dog started with this is first I just let them smell and kind of lick the toothpaste. So if you've got a dog who's never had their teeth brushed, that's how I would recommend starting. At night when you're watching TV, just reach down with your thumb and kind of move the lips around and pull the lip back and then put it back and maybe give them a treat. So teach your dog that you might be in there looking in their teeth and handling their mouth. And as you can see, she's really used to me doing this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull her, to her gums back and I'm going to concentrate on where the teeth and the gums meet. And as you can see, she kind of shied back a little bit at first, but that's not such a big deal. Oh, where are you going, girlfriend? So um, what you want to do is you want to concentrate where the teeth and the gums meet, and you want to move in a circular motion. So it's a lot like this right here. Good girl. Excellent. Um, do one tooth at a time if all you can do is one tooth. Maybe start in the front and then work your way towards the back. You may have to um, hold them in your lap. Hey. <laughs> She's like, do Wait a not minute. jump off do the table. Do not jump off the table. Um, here, I did notice that here. she's got a sore in her mouth just a minute ago, so that may be why she's reacting the way that she is. Um, the most important thing is that the more you do it, the better your dog's going to get at it, and they're not going to mind it quite so much. So um, that's my toothbrush talk. Awesome. So stay tuned for more grooming tips, and we'll, we'll, we'll be having more stuff as we go along. Awesome. So stay tuned, and thanks. 
check the links below. And if you want to sign up for classes at Noel's, you can go to Positive Directions Canine Academy. Link is in the bottom. So thanks and have Thank a great you. day. <laughs> Bye. Silly girl. She's like, I don't like that. There you go. Bye.